NASA is celebrating the end of a historic seven-year mission to bring an asteroid sample to Earth. A capsule carrying it landed yesterday in the Utah desert. NASA recently revealed the intriguing findings from a space capsule that brought back something amazing from an asteroid called Bennu. This asteroid is like a time capsule from when our solar system began. On September 26, 2023, scientists at NASA's Johnson Space Center in Houston opened the capsule, and inside, they found a surprise. There was a layer of dark dust on the capsule's electronics, and the sample was 100 grams heavier than expected. So how did this happen? What caused the mysterious black dust on the capsule? What will scientists discover in the asteroid sample. These questions are like a puzzle waiting to be solved. It's a mystery worth exploring. Scientists are ready to investigate and understand what's hidden within this cosmic treasure. In this episode, we'll discuss what NASA just saw inside the largest asteroid sample. This is Reveal the Mystery. If you are curious to learn mysteries of the world, space and beyond, consider subscribing. In 2016, NASA initiated a remarkable mission that would take humanity on a cosmic journey of exploration and discovery. This mission, known as OSIRIS-REx, had a trio of pivotal objectives that would not only expand our understanding of the cosmos, but also safeguard our planet's future. The first goal was sample collection. The mission set out to collect pristine samples from the surface of an asteroid, material that would serve as a window into the composition of these ancient celestial bodies. By bringing pieces of this asteroid back to Earth, scientists aimed to uncover the secrets of primitive asteroids, offering insights into the early days of our solar system. Picture this asteroid, known as Bennu, as a cosmic time capsule. For billions of years, it has preserved the building blocks of our solar system, and OSIRIS-REx was determined to unlock its secrets. The second objective revolved around the comprehensive characterization of the asteroid. Scientists wanted to understand Bennu inside and out. What was its geology like? What made up its surface? Could it serve as a resource for future space exploration missions? To answer these questions, OSIRIS-REx was tasked with mapping Bennu, scrutinizing its surface and scrutinizing its properties in unprecedented detail. Every nook and cranny of Bennu's surface held valuable clues about our solar system's past. By delving into the asteroid's geology and composition, scientists sought to unearth answers to some of the most profound questions about the origins and evolution of celestial bodies. Asteroids like Bennu offer us a unique glimpse into the past, akin to cosmic fossils. These small celestial bodies were formed in the early days of the solar system when planets were still in the making. Unlike their larger planetary siblings, asteroids remain largely unchanged, preserving vital information about the ancient conditions of our solar system. The third and perhaps most crucial objective of OSIRIS-REx was Earth's impact hazard assessment. While asteroids are captivating cosmic relics, they can also pose a threat to our planet. Bennu, classified as a potentially hazardous asteroid, is set to perform a close flyby of Earth on September 25, 2135. This date may seem distant, but predicting Bennu's future path was far from straightforward. It wasn't just the force of gravity that influenced the asteroid's trajectory. Asteroids like Bennu were also subject to the Yarkovsky effect. The Yarkovsky effect is an intriguing phenomenon. Imagine an asteroid slowly pirouetting in the vacuum of space. As the sun's rays strike its surface, the asteroid's day side heats up. When it rotates, the night side cools down and emits the stored heat in the form of radiation. This emission generates a minuscule thrust, which can subtly change the asteroid's course over time. While the Yarkovsky effect sounds subtle, its consequences are anything but. It's akin to a cosmic butterfly effect where seemingly insignificant forces can lead to significant changes in an asteroid's trajectory. It's akin to trying to predict the flight path of a paper airplane in a gusty wind. The variables are numerous and the outcome uncertain. This uncertainty arises from the fact that we don't have precise knowledge about how the Yarkovsky effect will affect Bennu's orbit. This leads to a wide range of potential trajectories for Bennu as it approaches Earth in 2135. Some of these trajectories align with specific regions in space known as gravitational keyholes. Gravitational keyholes, much like cosmic checkpoints, are essential to understanding the potential for impact with Earth. 
If Bennu were to pass through one of these keyholes, Earth's gravity could nudge its path in a way that leads to a subsequent impact in the late 22nd century. While the odds of this cataclysmic event occurring are indeed low, scientists take nothing for granted when it comes to planetary protection. As the OSIRIS-REx mission journeyed towards Bennu, it became a two-year, four-month-long odyssey through the cosmic abyss. On December 3rd, 2018, the spacecraft achieved a historic milestone by reaching its destination. Bennu, after traveling a staggering distance of approximately 1.4 billion miles, which is equivalent to about 2.2 billion kilometers. Upon arrival, OSIRIS-REx assumed orbit around the asteroid and embarked on an intricate series of surveys and mapping endeavors. The mission's goal was to pinpoint the optimal site for sample collection, a task that required meticulous planning and precision. Yet perhaps the most exhilarating phase of the entire mission was yet to come. It was the moment of sample collection, an event that unfolded on October 20th, 2020. OSIRIS-REx introduced its touch-and-go sample acquisition mechanism, TAGSAM, a robotic arm attached to the spacecraft's main body. TAGSAM was instrumental to the mission's success. The robotic arm was designed to briefly make contact with Bennu's surface, capturing a precious sample of its ancient material. Collecting the sample was no small feat, especially given Bennu's small size and the fact that it possesses only a fraction of Earth's gravity. In a mission with no margin for error, OSIRIS-REx had only one opportunity. It had to make it count. When the spacecraft made contact with Bennu at a site known as Nightingale, it deployed a burst of nitrogen gas to agitate and lift surface material into the sample collection chamber. The mission's objective was to collect a minimum of 60 grams of material, but OSIRIS-REx exceeded all expectations by capturing a substantial 300 grams of precious asteroid material. In 2020, the Japanese spacecraft Hayabusa 2 made a historic voyage to asteroid Ryugu, a celestial body teeming with organic treasures. After its return to Earth, scientists uncovered a stunning array of organic molecules within the samples, including amino acids, the fundamental building blocks of life. This discovery hints at the tantalizing possibility that life's essential ingredients may have hitchhiked to our planet through asteroids in the distant past. Now, the OSIRIS-REx mission, rebranded as OSIRIS Apex, is gearing up for a new cosmic odyssey. Its target is asteroid Apophis, a near-Earth giant with a remote but non-zero chance of impacting our planet in 2068. OSIRIS Apex will commence its study in April 2029, coinciding with Apophis's close approach to Earth. Armed with advanced instruments, it will meticulously map and measure the asteroid, unraveling the enigmas of these celestial wanderers and contributing to our understanding of the threats they pose to Earth. Moreover, the James Webb Space Telescope recently unveiled the distant star Arendelle, pushing the boundaries of our cosmic exploration. This ongoing quest to decipher the universe's secrets is a testament to humanity's unyielding curiosity and dedication to expanding the horizons of knowledge.